Thanks. You look amazing. <clears throat> you have some good news for me? I don't understand. Oh, um, I was following you in from town. I saw you pulling to the farm. I had talked to Dad earlier. I'd asked him if... Luke, you keep trying to push your dad and me back together. It's got to stop. Luke, you're spending all your time worrying about your dad and me. It's, it's natural, I understand that, but... Sweetie, the, the more you get involved, the harder it is for us. Please try to remember that no matter what happens, we will always be a family. Mom, I know that. And I'm not saying all this because I want you to protect me. I'm trying to protect you. You and Dad belong with each other. It's obvious that you still love each other. He just made this huge mistake. I've made mistakes too. And I didn't fix them along the way. I just kept plowing ahead, assuming that we would make it somehow. Well, you can. <sighs> yeah, we could suffer through it. We could be miserable. Make you kids miserable. <sighs> or we could see the writing on the wall. And just let it end. You have no right to be here. Well, Luke, frankly, I don't want to be. And yet here I am. I guess we all have to suffer. Where's your mother? Right here. Luke, will you excuse us? Please. You've got guts. Would you listen to me? Please. I need you to know that I have absolutely no desire. I have, I have no intention of being with Holden. We knew a long time ago that we made a mistake. That's why we ended it. Liar. What will it take for you to believe me, huh? Well, you could stay away from my husband. But you just can't do that, can you? Holden and I have not been together. You were with him today. And why was that, Carly? You had some urgent message you had to deliver to him? Well, well actually... You could have called. You could have emailed. You could have faxed. But then you couldn't have seen his face. You couldn't have held him for one more time. Louis, he loves you. Do not presume to tell me how my husband feels about me. I can't stomach your lies or your pathetic attempts to make nice after you've wrecked my life. Oh, you know what? I didn't even want to come here, okay? I, I did it for Emma. Emma? Emma. Believe it or not, once upon a time, she and I were friends too. And just so I could live, knowing that I tried everything, I decided to come here. But I gotta tell you something, Lily. You are, without a doubt, the biggest hypocrite I have ever known. You're calling me a hypocrite? Well, Lily, after your affair with Dusty, you were desperate for Holden to forgive you. You couldn't understand why he needed time. You had to force the issue. You should have just given him what he needed instead of expecting him to bounce back like you had done nothing wrong. Oh, you're lecturing me on morality now? I just think it stinks how you've got everybody on board, furious with Holden, protecting you. You're hurt. I get it. Can't you see that he is trying to make things right? Can't you forgive him? Can't you just try to see things from his point of view? I do see. I see it only too well. How I made love to Holden and thought of Dusty. I am not like those other wives, those innocent wives who have to wonder. I know what Holden feels for you and I can't live with that. I won't live with that. Lily, you are not being fair to him. That's it! That is the last time I will let you lecture me about my husband. Just tell Emma, when you see her, that I tried. Again. Get out of here. 